This week on Dateline Schools, taking a look on whether high school sports will be back on the field this fall as we're talking with the assistant director for the Michigan High School Athletic Association, Brent Rice. And Brent, what are some of the concerns you and school administrators are talking about as we look to possibly resuming sports uh, yet this fall? Yeah, so for us, you know, my biggest concern personally is that we will have a situation where there'll be an influx of COVID cases or, or kind of a resurgence of that. That's our biggest fear. Um, but we also understand that we are going to have to move forward at some point and that uh, there are benefits, uh, particularly mental health benefits, to our uh, student athletes for playing uh, school sports. And so uh, knowing that that is something that we uh, – we think that we have to do it in the future. Um, it, right now, it's just the timing of when that is, is most appropriate. So uh, we've really tried to take a measured approach at this, um, just to make sure that decisions are based on the best available information and, uh, you know, week by week so that we have real-time conditions. You, uh, mentioned, you mentioned a good point, too, that there's a lot of benefit for kids to be in sports, to be active. What, what are some of those benefits you see um, that high school athletics uh, give to our kids, not only now, but for them in the future? So athletics not only provide a great uh, opportunity for them to get real life, uh, real life experience, and they're, they're able to uh, learn things that they can't learn directly in the classroom, uh, but it also is obviously keeps them in shape, keeps them physically active, uh, and in a lot of places around our state, it keeps kids in school. And, and that's really athletics is kind of the binder that, that uh, you know, attaches them and gets them through uh, the year. And you mentioned earlier this week, too, about a quarter of a million students are active in athletics in Michigan. Do you expect that number to drop a little bit if we do get back on the field? You know, I, I think that it is possible that some students or parents will probably decide to forego sports or maybe even certain sports uh, this season, certainly, uh, maybe even this year. Overall, though, we're hearing that students and families really want nothing more than to uh, return to some normalcy. And for many, that includes school sports. And so, of course, I think that everyone involved does recognize that it's imperative that a return to school sports uh, must be done in a safe and responsible manner. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Hines.